surface vessel attack on Crimea failed as Musk turned off connection. Ukraine tried for the first time to use uncrewed surface vessels against Russian vessels in Sevastopol Bay in September 2022, but 70 kilometers from the target, the connection with billionaire Elon Musk's Starlinx was lost, according to Ukraine's Pravda. It was not possible to persuade Musk to turn back on the connection, so Ukraine modified the drones. It is said that the first attempt to attack Russian targets in Sevastopol took place on the night of the 16th to the 17th of September 2022. Vasil Maliuk, the head of the security service of Ukraine, and Vice Admiral Oleksiy Nispapa, commander of the Navy, Vice Prime Minister Mykhailo Fedorov, and Brigadier General of the Security Service Military Counterintelligence, who goes by the alias Hunter, and is the mastermind behind the entire surface vessel program, watched the progress of these operations from a protected bunker. Hunter said that these were the first samples of surface vessels and some of them sank or spontaneously exploded on the way to Sevastopol Bay. However, five vessels, each carrying 108 kilograms of TNT, made it through the waves and were approaching Sevastopol. We were 70 kilometers away from the Admiral Makarov frigate. Everyone was on edge as we were going to attack it, and then our communication was cut off. Elon Musk switched off Starlink, which we used to control the vessel, one of the participants of the operation said. Fedorov tried to persuade him, but Musk did not listen. Our people also tried to resolve the situation through their channels, but the Americans said that it was a private company and they couldn't put pressure on it, one of those in the bunker said.